Welcome back to the channel everyone and if you're new here my name is Victor and today I'm back with a quick fix to where you can swap a new animation or bring a new animation into your already rigged character in Cinema 4D. So here I have a 3D character that's a tarantula that I purchased on CG Trader and it came with a bunch of files. It came with an already rigged tarantula and then it came with three separate animations. Now I quickly ran into a problem where I brought in the animation of the tarantula that I wanted in there of it just idling so it's got light movement in its body and its legs, but it's just the joints. There's no skin that's bound to it. So I scoured YouTube and Google for hours and I couldn't find any solution that met my specific needs. The only solutions I could find were using character definition tags to extract the skeleton, which wasn't working with my spider. So I eventually figured this out and felt really dumb because honestly, it's super easy. So open up Cinema 4D, bring in your rigged character and your animation, and now go to Window Timeline Dope Sheet. Now on your dope sheet, you should see that you have the animation already listed there because it has keyframes. But the joints of your rigged object won't be visible there if they have no keyframes. So what we're going to do is open up the root of the joints in our rigged object and then hit the drop down arrow while holding command and that will drop down all of the joints that we need to highlight. So I click on the first joint and then go all the way down to the bottom and hold shift and click on the last joint and that will highlight all of our joints. And now we're going to turn on all of the position and rotation keyframes for all of those joints. And now you should see that your joints for that rigged object are visible in the dope sheet. So now what you're going to do in the dope sheet is click on the joints for your animation and that will highlight everything that's inside of there. And then you're going to hit Command C to highlight all of those keyframes and then go down to the joints on your rigged character and click on it and hit Command V to paste all of those keyframes in there and you should see that your character instantly conforms to that animation. And if you play it back, your character should be bound to those joints that are now animated. So if you had that same problem, I hope your headache's gone. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something. If you did, leave me a thumbs up, comment what you thought down below, and then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.